Hey everybody, this is Pablo with Mattress Makers. In this episode of Anatomy of a Mattress, we are gonna dissect the Stearns & Foster Reserve Series. So let's check it out. So this mattress is a mattress I've really been looking forward to take apart. It's been, um, it's been in our warehouse for the last few weeks and um, it was returned to us from a customer, not one of our customers, but they bought it from another company and it was just going, um, they said it was starting to soften up a little bit too much for them. They had it for about a year, they said, and yeah, it, they just did not like the feel after about a year. So we brought it back and now we want to see what's inside it. And um, a little bit about this mattress is it's it's retails about three to four thousand dollars in a queen size I've seen online and in a king size which this one is this retails between anywhere from thirty five hundred to forty five hundred depending on you know what sale you get but um, it is one of their top of the line um, Stearns and Foster top of the line series and it's a really beautiful mattress um, Stearns and Foster they've always made a really good looking bed you know, I love how these handles are. These handles are really, um, you can tell that they're done and well. And they have this kind of like this velvety type border around it and a nice um, heavyweight stretch knit cover on it. And then every Stearns & Foster mattress, they have it signed by the person who, who does the finishing on it, which I think is really cool. Um, but that's all the exterior and just about everything else in life as we know it's not so much what's on the outside but it's, it's what's on the inside that counts so let's see what's on the inside and let's take this apart and see what's going on with this mattress got a little head start take the tape edge off Okay, so this is what we have going on on the inside. Let me go a little bit further down so you can see all the way down. Okay, so right here, this is actually a good sign right here that it's not foam encasement. A lot of these Main Street mattress companies that you see are gonna have foam encasement around the border of the mattress, or around the border of the, the springs, which, is, we're not a fan of it's not good if it's foam encasement because it feels good in the showroom but over time it tends to buckle and break down this is an edge to edge coil which is good because it is going to last longer and be more um, consistent throughout the entire mattress so having an edge to edge coil is really good so and as you see here these are going to be smaller coils these are going to look let me see let me try to get a little bit deeper in here and i'm starting from the inside going up so on the base layer, this is about an inch of high density polyfoam. Nothing very special about the base layer on it. And then this is the support layer where most of the back support is coming from here. So this is probably one of the more important parts of the mattress. And we, they are gonna be using a, a smaller diameter pocketed coil, at least around the edge. I'm going to see what's going on closer to the middle part. Which around the middle, so the outer two rows are going to have a smaller diameter, like a firmer coil. This looks very similar to a Leggett and Platt Comfort Core coil. I'm not saying that it is, but it looks very similar. We have something very similar to this type of coil in our, in our beds, which means that the inner or the outer rows, the two outer rows of these coils are gonna be smaller but closer together so it gives it a firmer feel and a firmer support and a better edge support. And then on the inner, they're a little bit wider diameter coils but they're a little bit more loose. So they're gonna, or I should say softer, so they're going to um, flex a little bit better so they're not too firm and too stiff. That's what we have going on and they're all individually wrapped. So that is, that is good, that's a good coil system. Now the next level up, we have about an inch and a half of, if this is like a memory foam, it's like a high density memory foam, which it's gonna be pretty good. I've seen very cheap memory foam. This one you could actually tell it is pretty high density. I would say it feels to me at least like a five pound density memory foam. 
Um, it's really hard to tell just by feeling it, but it's a lot better than a lot of the ones that I've seen. And then on this next layer up, let me get my tape measure really quick. So we have about two inches of, if this is just like a high density foam, like a soft poly foam. It's not a memory foam. It's not like a gel foam, not latex. It's just gonna have this, um, just high density soft, like, you know, we see it in our mattresses call it super soft, but I'm not sure what they call it, but it is a high density poly foam. And then here you have about an inch and a half of that memory foam. And then on the panel part, the cover, this is also very significant right inside here. Let me open that up and see what they have. Okay, so now in the panel, we have some more memory foam. And also, now this is really cool what they did here. So, so this is about an inch, a little bit less than an inch of a memory foam. This feels like these feel like they're the same densities as this of a high density memory foam. But between these two memory foam, we have with the, a little surprise is these are micro coils or nano coils, which give it a little bit more of that cushion and a little bit more springiness to it. So instead of a whole nother layer of foam, what they did in, in the panel where a lot of companies do, they did nano coils or micro coils which are about a half an inch, approximately half an inch to an inch tall, about an inch tall micro coil. So you're gonna see a lot of, a lot of uh, mattresses have these crazy coil counts, like 4,000 coil counts nowadays, you know, which sounds ridiculous, but it's because there's nano coils or micro coils. Micro coils take the place of a comfort layer, like a foam and Overall, I do like I do like micro micro coils or nano coils because they do last longer than foam. Foam tends to break down, and it seems like the issue that the co the customer that had this before was having was the padding was softening up too much. And you know, once this starts to to weaken and soften, you're going to start seeing a dip. You know, and after about a year, that's way too soon for this. But micro coils and nano coils they actually last quite a while. They're actually very durable you know downside is you don't get like a soft cushiony feel with with micro coils you know it's good to combine it with another foam but um but um one little flag that i would see on this would be that there's just a lot of layers going on the spring system on this the coils are going to be about just under eight inches tall so the total thickness of the mattress is about 15. So you have about seven inches of extra padding on here before you reach the support layer. And have you seen any of our other videos or read any of our other um, you know, guides? Our big philosophy is less is more when it comes to mattress construction. It's nice to have these comforters because you do get a very comfortable mattress, but you also not only just want comfort, you want, the, you want it to stay comfortable for a long time. You want it to hold that feel for a long time. And that's why we say less is more because the more layers that you have, one, two, three, four, five comfort layers, all it takes is one layer to go bad and then the whole mattress starts to be affected. And that's why we say less is more when it comes to mattress construction. Um, and also because most of the back support is coming from this part of the mattress. When you're way up here, seven inches away from this part this is not the main source of support you know you're getting most of the support from here and then which is okay for the first year or so but after these start to break down then you get that hammock so that's why we say less and more you want to be closer to this because this is where you're going to get most of your back support or you should get most of your back support when you have seven or eight inches of padding um, on top of it you're not going to get much of that benefit of here but um, another very cool thing that the, um, these guys did was you notice that there's not a lot of glue here just right in here there's some glue but there's not a whole lot of glue because the reason why they there's not a lot of glue is because they tufted it they outer tufted it you really can't see it here but um, 
maybe um, I could do a quick shot on the top part, but it looks like buttons. So tufting a mattress is actually really good for keeping the layers on the inside from shifting rather than having glue. Um, I'm not a huge fan of having glue in, in mattresses, but um, you know, it's, it is less expensive and it is, unless you're going on the more of the luxury side, you know, tufting is probably more of a preferred way to go when it comes to keeping the, the layers from shifting. So this is the Stearns and Foster Reserve. I believe it's the Hepburn. Don't quote me on this, but I believe this is the Hepburn mattress. And like I said, it retails for about three grand for a queen size, three to four grand for a queen size, and about 3,500 to 4,500 in a king size. Um, so if you have tried this mattress, you like the way it feels, but you're not so you don't want to spend that crazy amount of money. I will say our com most com comparable one would be our Solana. I'm sorry, our Soledad plush, which it has latex. Instead of all this memory foam in here, which is okay and does give you that nice soft feel, um, ours has latex. So latex is our preferred way to, to make a mattress. Coil system is very similar to what we have. But um, yeah, overall, this is a beautiful mattress. It's a 15 inch mattress, um, outer tufted with a lot of memory foam, kind of like a hybrid. So um, yeah, I hope this helped you guys. And if you guys are on your mattress shopping journey, we have a mattress shopping guide um, that we that we can send you. It kind of breaks down tips and mistakes not to make when mattress shopping. So thanks for watching and um, yeah. Hope to see you in one of our stores.